Hello, Matthew here and welcome once again to my channel. Today I want to answer a question you've probably have been wondering. How can I en enhance my beer drinking experience when I pour it into a glass? Well, the answer is simple. You don't just get your glass plain clean, you get it beer clean. And I'm here to show you how to do that. Okay, so what exactly do I mean by a beer clean glass? Well, when you pour beer into a glass, if you notice any like bubbles sticking to the side of your glass, well, that's actually the CO2 clinging to any oil, any dirt or residue that's still in your glass. What happens is, is it causes your, your beer to go flat faster and the foamy head uh, disappears faster as well on top. And all that can affect the flavor and aroma and the appearance of your beer. So a properly beer clean glass should never have any bubbles sticking to the side. The foamy head on top should build up once you start pouring and also your beer will taste more crisp. So what's the best way to get your glasses beer clean? Well, the best way to do it is to hand wash your glasses. Don't put them in the dishwasher. The reason for this is because when you put your glasses in the dishwasher along with your other dishes, all the oils and residue and food residue from all your other dishes can build up and get into your glasses and that will affect the flavor and aroma and appearance of your beer as well. So like I said, the best way to get your glasses beer clean is to hand wash them. And I'm here to show you that. Let's get right to it. Well, the first thing you want to do before you, before you clean any glasses in your sink is you want to make sure your sink is completely cleaned out and, and disinfected really good. A little while ago what I did is I took some dish soap and a sponge and I cleaned out my sinks really good and then I also let them dry and then I took some disinfecting wipes wiped, wiped them out really good. So now the first thing, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water. I'm going to add some warm water to my sink. Make sure the water is nice and warm. The edge should dump it out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now the water's getting warm. That's what I'm talking about. Now make sure the water is not is not hot, but real but warm. You want it to make sure it's where it's warm enough to where you can clean your glasses with, and where it's where it's still where it's still warm enough where it's not hot to touch. Now, while I'm, while I'm adding while I'm adding water, now I'm going to add I'm going to add this. Another best thing, best thing to get your glasses beer clean is you don't want to use any liquid dish soap because it will take forever to wash off your glasses. Instead, use a nice big scoop of powdered detergent. I use OxyClean. So just go ahead and throw it in there. Just like that. And let it continue, let your sink continue to fill. And another best thing you can do is while while you're while it's, while it's uh, filling up, you want to make sure you mix it really good just to make sure just to make sure it uh, dissolves completely. So you know, since it's still nice and warm, I'm just going to put my hand in there and start mixing it, start going to town. Still a little bit hot, so I'm adding some cold water in there so it will warm it up. Make sure it make sure it's all completely dissolved. Now you can use a whisk or, or, or a spoon or whatever, but you know it's still warm enough in the water. I'll just, just use my hand in there and just start mixing in there and just go to town. Now our, now we got our solution ready to go. Now it's time to clean some glasses. Okay, now now to use now what we're going to use to clean our clean our glasses. I got this uh, this this beer this beer glass uh, scrubbing scrubbing thing from Amazon. So and it has suction cups on the bottom, so you can just stick it right in your sink, just like this, just like that. Okay, now we're going to take a glass. 
Take any glass you want. You want to just go ahead and dunk it in your solution real quick. And then just go ahead and put it in there just like this. And then just turn it clockwise. Now, if you want, if you don't want to stick the, stick your brush to the bottom, you can just dunk it and immerse it just like this. This is what I normally do. So it's so it can get every little nook and cranny. So that way, just turn it clockwise just like this. Now, if you want to really, really get it really good and clean, go ahead and use this. This is a, just a plain uh, magic eraser. Just go ahead and dunk it in the water. And then go ahead and just go ahead and do this. Just get the inside, the outside, just like that. You can really get it, really get it good and clean, just like this. Now, if you have one, now if you have a glass that's uh, probably unusual shape, like this one, like a Samuel Adams glass, you can, I have an additional brush that I like to use to get the get those hard to reach places, just like this. And then when you're done, rinse it out with cold water, just like this. And then just set it aside and then just set it on a clean surface for now and then do and then then we're just just going to do the same with the rest of the glasses Okay, well now all our, all our glasses are clean and that wasn't so difficult, was it? Well, that's only half half of what we have to do. Now that our, our glasses are clean, now it's time to sanitize them. And that's the last most important step in getting your glasses beer clean. So now let's get them all sanitized. Okay, well like I said, the final step in getting our glasses beer clean is getting them sanitized. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this baker's this baking cooling rack that I'm just going to put on the bottom of one and a half of my sink. I'm just going to use that to put my glasses on it after I'm done sanitizing them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this nice this nice clean bucket that I got from Tar got from Target. Now you can fill up one of your sinks with with it, but I'm going to use uh, this uh, bucket just simply for this purpose. So I'm just going to put it in my sink. Now I'm going to fill it up with some warm water, about a gallon about a gallon and a half. Fill it up really good. Make sure I can see how much is going in there. And then what I'm going to do is when, when there's enough water in there, I'm going to squeeze in about a quarter of an ounce of this food grade sanitizer. I got this from Amazon. So it should be about, about getting about ready to be filled. Make sure it's nice, still nice and warm. So I would put in about, about a gallon, like I said, about a gallon and a half of warm water. There's good. Okay, now this now this this bottle of food grade sanitizer has a special measuring uh, thing right here. So all I have to do now for a gallon and a half of uh, warm water, I'm only going to use about a quarter of an ounce of the solution. So I'm just going to while the caps are still on it, I'm just going to gently squeeze the squeeze the bottle until it gets to about about halfway there. So right about there. Okay, so. I'm just going to take the can just going to take the cap off of the solution really carefully and please be careful with this it's very it's acidic so please use caution when you're handling it full strength but once you once you dilute it in water it'll be all right so just pour a little pour that amount in there just like that there you go okay make carefully put the cap back on now I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit, but I don't want I don't want too much for any froth on top or whatever. But I'm just going to gently mix it, just like that. Make sure it's nice and evenly, evenly mixed. Okay, and I'm just going to put this uh, right around the sink for now. Now. 
Now, you can, now what I do is I, I use some uh, just some plain housekeeping gloves because even though it's uh, pretty safe uh, when it's diluted in water, it, can, it still dries my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And now I'm going to take one of my glass, take my one of my clean glasses that I cleaned a little while ago, and just go ahead and just carefully dunk it in the solution, just like that. And you can let it sit in there for about a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and get a, get another glass to put in there. Just go like I said once again, just dunk it in the solution, just like that. If you want, you can uh, just let it sit, or you can just do what I do sometimes. You can just slosh around, just be careful. Just like that. Make sure every surface uh, inside and outside of your glasses are, are evenly coated. And... And then we're going to go ahead. That should be good enough. We'll go ahead and now we're going to go ahead and take one, take our glasses out. And just carefully put them, put them on our on our rack right, right down here, and then just let it dry. But do not rinse it because you know the san you're put your san the sanitizing solution is well, is sanitizing the glass. So it's you, if you rinse it, it's kind of defeating the purpose. So take the other Let's take our other glass and put it on our rack just like that. And now we're going to go ahead and do the same with the rest of the glasses. Okay, now that you're done sanitizing your glasses, you don't want to get rid of all of this, uh, all the solution right away. So what you want to do is you want to take a simple, just take a simple, uh, just a sp simple spray bottle, clean spray bottle, dunk it, dunk it in the solution, put some of the solution into the bottle. Because later when you, when you beer clean your glasses again, instead of making a whole nother thing a solution, if you're, when you're ready to sanitize your glasses, all you got to do is spray, just spray the inside and the outside of your glass and just set it down let it dry and you'll get the same results now the key here is to let your glasses dry after you sanitize them and make sure you dry them on a surface where air can get into them so that way they'll dry faster and there you go so now you got now you got some left you got some leftover solution that you can use for later and there you have it there's the way on how to get your your glasses beer clean now, once you get once you get your glasses all sanitized in that solution, once you let them let them dry completely, you're ready to put them away, or you're ready to enjoy, you're ready to enjoy a nice glass of beer and a nice beer clean glass. So let's take let's let's see how we did. Now, I, I took one of my glasses that I've already had beer cleaned already. I what I did is I rinsed it out really thoroughly with cold water. That'll get all this rinse the solution out, and it'll also chill the glass a little bit. So let's see how we did. And I'm going to go ahead and open a bottle of Stella Artois. It's one of my favorite, another one of my favorite beers. Let's open it up really good. And once again, at an angle, we're going to go ahead and pour it down, pour it down the side of the glass really good. And once it reaches halfway, we'll go ahead and tilt it back up and all the way, all the way and pour it. And there you go. Take a look. Doesn't that, doesn't that look great? Nice foamy head on top. There's no, no bubbles on the side of the glass and the taste. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, there you have it. There's how to get your glasses beer clean. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment and feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.